Hey guys, Doc. So, you know, I was actually inside editing this video and I said to myself, you know, I really didn't give you guys a good frame of reference for what your blades of grass are gonna look like or what your lawn might look like and what you should look for and how to identify these different problems. So, instead of starting the video right now, I'm gonna put up some frames and I'm gonna walk you through what the blades of grass might look like and what these patterns might look like. Then I'll start the video of me walking around like an idiot trying to treat this lawn. So here we go. Okay, so let me show you some visual representations here. First, let's take a look at healthy grass. This is your healthy lawn. If you start to have roots eaten by something like grubs, the entire plant is gonna die. You're gonna see brown patches. Back to healthy grass. If you're gonna have army worms, typically what you're gonna see is it trimmed off at the top. They don't eat the roots. They just eat the grassy tops and you're gonna have grass thinning back to healthy grass. Now let's talk about fungus. Funguses are strange and they can be a mix of dead and green looking or solid brown patches. So funguses are a little bit tougher, but it generally will be mixed in just like what I'm seeing on my yard today, areas of brown and green. Now let's take a look at some patterns. So here is your lawn and here's your lawn on grubs. This is typically what we see when I see larger circles like six inches to 18 inches scattered around. It's almost always grub damage. These larger patterns, the roots are dying. They've been eaten. They're going to die. If you start to see these little tiny spots, that's typically a fungus, something like dollar spot. And it may be something with actually what's going on in my yard right now. And that's what I'm thinking, dollar spot. If I see a mix of it, like on Barb's lawn, with the larger and smaller, it's probably a mix, grubs and fungus. If by some chance you start to see larger circle patterns, that's going to be typically a brown patch. And we have dealt with brown patch on our front yard for years. These circles can be quite large and they can be two to four feet round or in an oval shape. Morning. <laughs> Cut. Beep. <laughs> Afternoon. Today we're going to talk about brown spots on your lawn. And there's a reason for this. And that's because I freak out when something goes wrong with my yard. And I came out here yesterday and I started to see these little, little teeny brown spots. A spot where the grass was actually dying. And then I started to see more of them and more of them. They're all over my back. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're talking about brown. when you start to see these brown spots, sort of how do you diagnose this and, and, and what do you do with it? So hold on. This whole yard was full of these huge brown patches. It was ugly. It was just absolutely nasty. And now, just by pushing it and putting down the right treatments, we have got this yard naturally to heal up by itself. Still have some touchy areas. Over here, we're still recovering. We've got brown patches over here. Back behind me against the fence, we have some areas. But for the most part, we came in here, we put down a grub kill and we put, started putting down PGF Balance, then I put down PGF Complete, we've done Dirt Booster, we've done just about everything, and sure enough, it has come back. So let me go show you, it's hard for me to find these spots during the daytime, because, and there's a lot of them, but I mean, it's just little. So, okay, see this green grass over here, and then right there, see that dead little grass right there? See that little dead grass right there? That's what I'm talking about. Just these little teeny spots. And I'm starting to see them, not just in one area, I'm starting to see it all over. So when I start to see it all over the lawn, that's when I'm gonna say, I almost guarantee it. And it's just tiny. It's probably a fungus. If you have larger, if you have larger spots, like three inches, that may be dollar spot, still a fungus. But I'm gonna show you Barb's lawn. Now, the interesting thing about Barb's lawn is she has a mix. She has a mix of, hello bug. She has a mix of like dollar spot and grub. I'm gonna show you something amazing. So I'm gonna walk out front. I'm gonna show you my lawn. Now, on my way there, yesterday I did a video on soil testing. I found a soil test that's online. You get results in six days. I absolutely love it. In the description below, I'll link to that soil test and go watch that video. <laughs> I actually take you out to the farm and I show you me doing soil tests out in the field the same way we would do here. And make sure you get the lawn guides. The lawn guides are up, they're free. 
cool season, Bermuda, Soja, their websites. You don't have to download them, no app, no email sign up. But the good witch is out here. Um, Ryan spent a week down at the beach house doing some work for me down there and fishing. So the good witch has been coming over and cutting. She came by this morning and cut while I was out at the farm. I was actually working some irrigation systems out there. And, uh, but let me show you the front. I came home, I was like, dude. So I know what's going on in my backyard is not because of what I did, because everything I did in the back, I did on the front. So it's nothing I did. Is that amazing or what? I mean, it, it, this was horrible two months ago. But I'll tell you what, I could not ask for a nicer lawn right now. It is just absolutely gorgeous. We're cutting it about one inch. But let me walk 30 feet over this way and let me show you barbs. Again, she's using a national company. They don't put down grub killers. <laughs> so, as I go in, you're gonna see these holes. You're gonna see these holes in these spots. See it? See these big holes here? And then there's little holes. Look at all these little holes here. You see these? Isn't that incredible? Number one, that comes from cutting your grass too long. But number two, this big one, that's a grub, that's a grub, that's a grub. Little spots, probably fungus. I'm gonna be putting down double kill on my lawn. I'm gonna hit grubs again. And you got to get that down if you have these problems. I'm gonna do Barb a favor and I've ordered double and I'm gonna treat her lawn as well too for grubs. I'm just waiting to see. I can't wait to see what comes up. Hit subscribe and when I treat it, I'll put it up and you'll probably see a bunch of you'll probably see a bunch of beetles and grubs come up. Okay, doc. Well, that's all great stuff, but what are you going to do? How are you going to treat it? Well, this morning because I always freak out when something goes wrong with my lawn. The first thing I did, I was like the first one at Lowe's and I went and bought a whole bag of this stuff. Normally, I would use the Anderson's granulated um, fungicide back here but I don't have time, I need to get this down now. And I've already ordered the double kill from them. When the double kill comes in, I think tomorrow, I'll put that down, but tonight, this stuff right here, this is basically uh, propiconazole. Um, it actually also is for insects, which is fine, because if you watch one of my last videos, I do have a few army worms out here. So I'm gonna treat the backyard. However, I am still in the 80 degree range, so I do not wanna come out here spray this on my lawn in the morning and have it sit here all day in the sun. When that sun goes down in a couple hours, I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna spray this whole lawn and then leave it on there overnight. And then in the morning, I'm gonna run my irrigation system and push it down in. Now, propiconazole is actually a systemic, uh, mainly systemic fungicide, which means that, uh, let me explain this in a way that makes sense. What's that uh, yellow tube of antibiotic cream that you put on cuts? What I got right there. So it's a topical, and that treats the tropical infection. When you take pills, it goes through your blood system and attacks the infection that way. Well, the same thing. Systemic means that it actually goes into the plant through the roots and is absorbed into the plant. Topical means that it actually treats what it touches. So this is gonna work mainly through the plant system. It'll be absorbed a little bit through the foliage, but also through the roots, and that's how it's gonna work on this fungus. My neighbor who owns about 30 acres back over that way has a pond, and I guess Canadian geese season is in. So you can see in this area over here, this is the last of the heal up. That's the last of the healing process back here, but all through here, I'm seeing these little spots. So anyways, you guys get the gist of it. I mean, this is what I'm gonna do. I'll be spraying, I'll be out here spraying the entire yard. 
And again, do this at night <laughs> and just let it sit there. And then in the morning, first thing in the morning, I'll run all the systems for about seven minutes. Now, someone will ask, this question has come up. Do fungicides impact beneficial fungus like from Dirt Booster? And the question is, yes, they can. They can reduce it. But if you keep introducing more and more of it, uh, it's going to overpower the fungicide. So, yes, uh, you it will reduce some. But what I do is after I treat this, if I'm going to put down Dirt Booster, I will wait probably at least a week and then start applying it. You can overpower. If you keep putting those fungus spores into the grass here, it will benefit it. And I probably need to get some because the good fungus will battle the bad fungus. I mean, this is just gorgeous. <laughs> the next morning, there's something about a morning dewgrass. It turns this dark blue green. The sun's not hitting, it doesn't yellow it out. It just looks like a carpet, it looks fake. <laughs> It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, sorry, I'll stop admiring it. It's all sprayed, it's all treated. I'm gonna run my irrigation system front and back, even though I didn't uh, spray the front. And this is the time of year now. What I'm gonna be putting out is, I'm gonna be putting out PGF balance on my lawn. Um, you might use green chocker if your phosphorus is a little bit high. Just very mild nutrients, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna let the lawn taper off. We don't wanna put down slow release fertilizers right now. Um, it's not the time for slow release fertilizers. What we wanna do is we just wanna sort of spoon feed and just let it go to sleep and let it go to sleep as these temperatures continue to drop and continue to drop. Mm -hmm.